Yo, what's cracking, guys? You read that title correctly. Summit wants to take a Kama Sutra class with Jenny. That's sex, right? Uh, anybody else hard? A Kama Sutra class? I get that this is for television, but couldn't you just look it up online? It's just sex positions, right? She can't do those. Jenny, I'm telling you, she has no core strength. She's not riding reverse cowgirl. But let's find out if she does. But before we do, this episode is sponsored by you guys. You guys over on patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. You guys help make this shit possible because YouTube fucking hates swears. Which doesn't make any sense to me because the videos, they're doing so well. You guys are killing it, by the way. I don't get why you wouldn't just put ads on the video if people are watching them. That's how ads should work. That's why most YouTubers like bleep and mute out swears. So to fight back against YouTube's cute little swear policy and to support this channel, patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. But let's see if I'm worth it. Uh, what we could do is like uh, go ahead and explore some uh, like yoga tricks. Oh, the face you made made me feel so disgusting inside. Oh, Summit, I haven't got wet in years. You must have heard about a word, Kama Sutra. Oh, uh, it's two words, asshole. They teaches you how to like keep uh, adventure, interest in your uh, married life or your sexual life. Well, of course I've heard of that. Yeah, Summit, have you heard of pegging? That'll change up your relationship dynamic. <laughs> Who hasn't? We are husband and wife now. I want to bring uh, adventure in the bedroom. It took you this long to want to have fun with this big old bag of rags in your room? You actually want to fuck her more? Ugh. Woof. In order to achieve that uh, pleasure goal, it's not just uh, having coitus. It's like how you can reach to the moment where you can say that like, oh man, this is something. You mean where you both come? Is that what you're trying to say? You can say come, they'll bleep it out. I won't, but they will. But there's no way this guy cares about her coming. Like, I'm pretty sure like that's in their culture to not give a shit. It's about the best thing that can happen in life. So like Dallas, like also things we can do here. What do you mean we can do that here? What do you mean? Right here, right now, we can fuck in this park. <laughs> what do you mean we can do that here? It sounds weird, but like we can go and uh, learn uh, or something about a Kama Sutra. I don't need to learn anything about it. I think I already know everything at this age. I think I already know everything I need to know. I don't need to be taught anything about... You're talking about like different sex positions and sexual <laughs> things. I don't know. That's what... I mean, when I've looked at books about it, it's like different sex positions and stuff, isn't it? So you know all of them? All of them. You can't learn anything new in this class. Your husband's trying to connect with you, bitch. I know you'd rather drink wine and do a painting class, but come on, do some sexy yoga. I've seen the book, obviously. Oh. And to me, it's just a, it's a book of a bunch of sex, different sex positions. Nice. You just translated Kama Sutra into English. Congratulations. It's, it's about the perfect position, which makes everything better. This dude is so sick of missionary with this disgusting bitch. Oh, the title is wants to take a Kama Sutra class. They're not actually going to do it. Fuck. Maybe I should read these titles correctly. And Ben. Yeah, I think like it's, it's we are uh, like a young couple. We just recently got married. We're so a young couple? Like One of us is. Dude, doesn't that make you feel disgusting inside? You know she's going to make that joke like as much as she possibly can. You know, to show she's not insecure about it, but it shows she's insecure about it. We are a married couple, so I think it, it's a... Stop fucking smiling. Seriously, please. Ah, gonna melt that fucking camera lens. Perfect time to experiment it together in a, on a honeymoon. I don't know. I, I just want to... Let's just make love and go to sleep. <laughs> <sighs> Dude, that's how your whole relationship is going to be with everything. You're going to be like, you want to go to the store? She's like, I just want to sleep. And then in 10 years, she's just going to sleep permanently. It's not just uh, uh, like getting physical or having sex. It's about uh, connecting. connections. Yeah, Connecting with each yeah. other. I think we connect pretty well. So fucking disagreeable. I mean, at least he's trying. I get that it's about sex. 
babe, let's go to the strip club so we could like see how to work on a pole, you know, for fitness. Yeah, we do. Uh, actually, we are gonna. Uh, I don't. I don't know. It's just. I. I just don't feel like someone needs to come and teach me something about what I do in my private life with you. I don't think we need to be taught that. I think we've got it figured out pretty well between us, and we're do. We're doing just fine. I just don't think I need to be taught. Do you know what TV show you're on right now? There's so many things you have to be taught. You're lacking in so much information. At this age, fuck it, why not just try Kama Sutra? Why not try heroin? Take out six credit cards, who gives a shit? That's it. Yeah, actually, uh, maybe it's like, uh, this is something I need. Do you? Do you think so? No. Okay, then thank no, I mean, you. I think you're fine. All right. Let's talk about it some more later, okay? Okay. We'll talk about like, it. We can figure it out. Well, that was uncomfortable, huh? He's like, what if I need it? You don't. Oh, okay. You could tell. He really does, especially. He seemed a little embarrassed, a little like he was laughing it off like this bitch. Obviously, if he's bringing it up, he's missing something. There's no way. Yeah, he's coming, but she's not satisfying him in the bedroom. Oh, my back hurts. It's, it's the morning. Imagine her breath in the morning before she puts her teeth in. Holy shit. But she probably gums him to death. Anybody out there missing teeth, huh? Hit me up. That's what I look for in a woman. One that can't talk. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That would be disgusting. One time I was doing stand-up and this dude was on stage. He's like, I don't have any teeth in right now. I'm like, you have no teeth. You're gumming it up right now, dude? What the fuck? And he was like, yeah, don't worry about it. Tell all the teeth jokes you have. I'm like... I don't have any teeth jokes. I just wanted to make sure I heard was correct. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. If you want to see some more shit like this, I actually do stand-up comedy over on my second channel, youtube.com slash Mark Karski. <laughs> Tracy, will you come up here and show everybody? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll see your Tracy. Okay. Okay. I have a series called The Comedian that like where I vlog in the car before I go to a stand-up set talking about the set I'm about to do. Then I show the set and then I break down the set in like a little podcast format talking about the set and how it went. Uh, it shows from the beginning, open mic one. And right now tonight I'm gonna film episode 110 so you get to see the evolution. And like in the beginning it was so fucking bad. And now I'm like getting ready to send out clips to get booked in Chicago and hopefully to a city near you. But it's cool to see the evolution. I think people are kind of interested in seeing what goes on behind the scenes of stand-up comedy. So if you're interested in that shit, youtube.com slash Mark Karski. If not, I totally understand. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's keep that algorithm going, baby. I love you. Mwah.